Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, I'd like to call the meeting to order, and I would like to ask Dino Migliazzo to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dino. Uh, I would like to ask Nancy Sill to lead us in the invocation. Good evening. Uh, we begin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you and thank you for the many blessings in our lives. Despite the struggles of this past year, we know that you are present and we look to you in all things. We thank you for those gathered here tonight, for those who have chosen the noble and at times volatile profession of farming in order to feed our world. Help us to embrace and enjoy the life you've given us to live. We ask this in your Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, I would like to appoint the secretary of the meeting, and at this time I appoint Janelle Penny as secretary of the meeting. Uh, at this time, I, uh, after review of tonight's meeting participants, it is declared that a quorum is present. At this time, I would like to ask for a motion and a second to dispense with the reading of the 2020 annual meeting minutes. So moved. Second. If there is anyone opposed to this motion, please signify by selecting star three if you are participating using a phone or select the virtual raise your hand feature if you are participating using a computer to state your objection. Receiving none, uh, the motion has carried. At this time, I would like to introduce the Board of Directors for Yosemite Farm Credit. Rick Schuber from Patterson has served on our board since 1994. Dino Migliazzo is from Outwater, and he has served on our board also since 1994. Brian Genzoli is from Turlock, and he has served on our board since 2006. Nancy Sill is our board vice chair. She's from Patterson. She's an appointed director, and she's served on our board since 2007. Tom Maring is from Wesley, and he has been on the board since 2019. Alicia Madsen is also an appointed director, and she's from Turlock. She's been on our board since 2015. Bruce Burroughs is from the Denaire area, and he has served on the board since 2014. Andrew Bloom is from Gustine and has been on the board since 2019. Dave Brown is from Waterford, and he's been on our board since 2019. My name's Mark Jensen. I'm from Modesto, uh, and I've served on the board since 2014, and I'm currently serving as your board chair. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Mark Jensen. I have the honor and the privilege of serving as the board chair for this year. Thank you all for joining us for our first virtual annual meeting of stockholders. But more importantly, thank you for being our members and for being our borrowers. We know you have choices when it comes to your financing needs, and we thank you for choosing Yosemite Farm Credit. I believe that what sets us apart from our comp competition is our people. Each of our team members shares a passion for the Yosemite Farm Credit mission of helping our members prosper. Our commitment as an association is to ensure that the YFC culture of excellence and superior member service is demonstrated in every relationship and every interaction you have with our team members. Every member of the YFC team contributes to our success 
and to your success in many important ways. This past year has demonstrated that commitment as the entire Yosemite Farm Credit team stepped up to continue to deliver superior services to our members without interruption despite the pandemic. Yosemite Farm Credit is financially sound. We have sufficient capital to allow us to support your financial needs in good times and in bad. Your association showed strong growth in loan volume and strong earnings again in 2020. We were again able to declare a patronage dividend of 75 basis points to all of our members, which will go out shortly. This past year certainly turned out to be more challenging than anyone would have predicted at this time last year. We know it's been difficult for all of you as well. In addition to the novel issues presented by the pandemic, we have experienced lower prices for many of our commodities. We have practical and political issues facing us with water and other regulatory matters. As always, however, the determination and resilience that we farmers bring to work every day has enabled us to overcome the problems and keep putting food on the table for our nation and for the world. Yosemite Farm Credit is here to stand with you and to support you through thick and thin. We look forward to continuing to serve you in the years to come. And now I'd like to introduce our chairman, our CEO, Tracy Sparks. Good evening. I speak for the entire YFC team when I say tonight we would much rather see you, chat with you, and enjoy a meal together. However, we do appreciate everyone logging in, and we look forward to seeing you again next year in person. This year's annual meeting, it took on a different type of planning and technical coordination, and I want to thank and acknowledge Nikki Scheiber, our annual meeting chair, Stephanie Rocha, our annual meeting vice chair, the annual meeting committee. Thanks to everyone for not hesitating when asked to re-engineer and re-plan this entire um, uh, virtual meeting. So at last year's annual meeting, we talked about uncertainties and challenges of 2019. And at that time, our 2020 promise is that we were prepared to face all uncertainties with you. We had no idea how complicated COVID would get. At that time, I expressed our commitment to work with all industries under all economic conditions. Yosemite Farm Credit kept that promise. Our team remained dedicated and focused and continues that dedication and focus on serving members during a very unsettling and difficult time. Demonstrating our commitment, Yosemite Farm Credit provided COVID-related assistance. We became small business administration lenders and were able to assist members with um, the Paycheck Protection Program. We offered loan accommodations to help members offset challenges. We continued to offer competitive rates. And at the onset of the pandemic, we processed a record number of interest rate conversions, enabling our members to lock in historically low interest rates. And this was done all while maintaining a solid financial and portfolio position. United We Grow is our annual meeting theme, and it encapsulates a very strong Yosemite Farm credit and member relationship built over decades. It will take much more than a pandemic to alter these relationships or disrupt our success together. The following is a brief overview of the association's 2020 financial performance. Overall, the association is, remains financially strong. In 2020, we achieved 7% loan growth, ending the year at 3.3 billion, and that says a heck of a lot for our commitment to agriculture. We provided $825 million in new commitments to our member owners. And this was all again achieved in a, in a difficult, our most difficult year in our history. Credit quality remains very strong and continues to strengthen. This credit quality is a direct reflection of you, our members, and your strength and ability to manage risks and uncertainty. Thank you. The association generated earnings of $59 million. It's down $4 million when compared to 2019 and due to unprecedented expenses in 2020. The largest of those expenses relates to the early prepayment of debt created by the low interest rate environment. At year end, the Board of Directors, as Mark said, approved a cash patronage of $25.4 million. 
our philosophy that excess capital is best used by you, the member owners, to reinvest in your operations and support your local communities. So as we look to the future, our board and team, we believe that there is light at the end of the COVID tunnel and for agriculture of 2021. Commodity prices are low when compared to the last few years. However, we know our members and the ag communities will continue to grow and thrive. It's what we do. YFC is dedicated to exceptional member service, no doubt. And I want to give a huge shout out to our entire team, all 173 of them. Talk about perseverance, flexibility, and ingenuity. They quickly picked up their laptop, their monitors, their mice, and their keyboard, and created a way to effectively work and serve you from home. This was all with, done with the motivation to serve you. The YFC team is a team of experts invested in you, a team that's here to assist you with challenges and opportunities so that you can achieve success. To our board, thank you for your ongoing commitment and guidance. Um, the YFC membership is truly blessed to have a board of directors that brings their perspective, your perspective as member owners, to the board meetings each month. So let's wrap this up with some important items. We are your local association. Your patronage check will be distributed in approximately two weeks. The association again remains financially strong and will continue to offer competitive rates. Speaking of rates, um, market interest rates for 2021, the feds have indicated there's no signs or they have given no signs of any increases or decreases. And we like stability. <laughs> Again, we do wish that we could have been together and tonight, and someone mentioned to me this week that regardless of the weather, politics, prices, there were so many smiles and a lot of happiness when we were together at our annual meeting. So please mark your calendar, and um, we will see you next year in person. Most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your, thank you for allowing us to serve you. We are grateful. And again, it's an honor and it's a privilege. Thank you, Tracy. At this time, I would like to introduce Connor Wagner, who will give the nominating committee's report. Hello, everyone. My name is Connor Wagner. I am the 2020-2021 Nominating Committee Chairperson, and I'm here to tell you that we have uh, currently three director positions uh, expiring, and those are the positions of Brian Genzoli, Dino Migliazzo, and Rick Schuber, and they are running unopposed. The following stakeholders agree to run for the 2021-22 Nominating Committee. They are Richard Barbosti, Joshua Bonds, Wesley Bilsma, Derek Quelo, Edward Dieger, Miranda Dill, Devin Gioletti, Nicole Morris, Seth Rosso, Eric Torreson, Anthony Trenta, and Chase Ulrich. The members of the 2020-2021 nominating committee were Dominic Agresti Asali, John Azevedo, Craig Benson, James Bajetti, Robert Orba, Lori Marchi, Danny Martins, John Ribeiro, and myself, Connor Wagner. The secretary was Lori Marchi, and I'm the uh, committee chairperson. The election will be by mail ballot. Polls will close at 5 p.m. on April 12th, 2021. Board Chair Mark Jensen will appoint an independent third party. The independent third party will count the ballots on Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. Return ballots will be held in the custody of Janelle Penny. Results of the election will be mailed to the membership. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. We will now entertain nominations from the floor. If you would like to make a nomination, Please signify by selecting star 3 if you are participating using a phone, 
or select the virtual raise your hand feature if you are participating using a computer to state your nomination. I will pause here for just a moment to allow time for a nomination from the floor. Receiving none, nominations are now closed. And now I would like to introduce the director candidates. We will now take a moment to hear from them, from each of them. Hi, my name is Brian Gianzoli and I've served on the board of directors at Yosemite Farm Credit since 2006. I was born and raised in Houston, California, went to Houston High School graduated from Modesto Junior College and then transferred to Fresno State University where I majored in plant science and got a degree, a BS degree in that field. Came back home after that and uh, started working on the ranch. We raised peaches, almonds, and grapes. And it was at that time that I met my wife, actually in high school, my high school sweetheart. We got married, been married 41 years. We have three children five grandchildren. I'm a member of the Qantas Club of Greater Turlock, uh, Turlock Rural Fire Department. I sit on the board, have been sitting on that board for 34 years. I'm a member of the Stanislaus County Farm Bureau and Blue Diamond Growers where I've sat on the liaison committee multiple times and the advisory committee. Currently farming almonds in Turlock and in Houston with my son, and I'm interested in running for the board again because I believe in the mission. I have a vested interest in the association and enjoy the board members that I work with. The staff is excellent there. We're thriving and growing and I want to continue to be a part of that. Uh, good morning. My name is Dino Migliazzo, and I'm running for the board position at Yosemite Farm Credit. And I'd like to introduce myself. My wife, Alicia, and I, along with my brother, Dante, and his wife, Christy, own and operate Migliazzo and Sons Dairy and Farming. And I was thinking back uh, from the Migliazzo side, we've been in the farming business, dairy business specifically, since 1957. But on my mom's side, we've been farming in Merced County for over 100 years since the 1920s. Uh, we started on this location in 1967 where we milk about 860 cows and we have some permanent plantings as well. Uh, we've been a member of Yosemite Farm Credit uh, ever since the late 70s when dad decided to build a new dairy and we've had a relationship that's been wonderful ever since that time. I'm a huge fan of, of the Farm Credit system and I can't speak more highly of the Yosemite Farm Credit. When we first started it was the Land Bank of Merced and they have definitely been part of our team and our success throughout all these years. Uh, it's, it's true what their motto says, helping members prosper, and I've been very proud and blessed uh, to have been part of the team, and I would like to continue to be part of the team in the future. Thank you for listening to this message. Hello, my name is Rick Schuber. I farm on the west side with my family, uh, Alfred and Alan Schuber. I was the owner of a custom hay operation, Schuber Brothers, and also farmed apricots in the 70s and early 80s. In the 80s, I left farming, became a commercial pilot for several years. And after I married my wife, Susan, uh, came back into farming to raise our family. Schuber Farms started in 1988. We farm row crops, almonds, and we have a cow-calf operation. I was elected to the board and had the honor of serving our members since 1994. I look forward to serving as your director for the success of our association and the members. I'd like to thank the nominating committee for their uh, contributions and important work in supporting our, our association. We appreciate all of your efforts. We know it's a lot of work out of your busy day. If anyone has any other business to discuss, please signify by selecting star three if you're participating using a phone or 
select the virtual raise your hand feature if you're participating using a computer to state any other business in which to conduct at this time. Hearing none, uh, we'll get on to the raffle, and I'd like to bring back our CEO, Tracy Sparks. Well, it just wouldn't be a Yosemite Farm Credit Annual Meeting without a raffle. Um, I, I wish Joe P. or Stan Chance were up here, but uh, let's get right to it. We have three great raffle items. Our first raffle winner of a Yeti Tundra 75 cooler is Gary Cabral. The winner of a Traeger Pro Series 22 pellet grill is Joel Mari. Our final raffle item is the kids John Deere Gator and the winning winner <laughs> is Ellen Durer. Thank you all again for participating and congratulations to our winners. We'll be in contact with the winners and on how they will receive their prize. Thank you. And at this time, I would like to adjourn the meeting and thank everyone for participating. Uh, I know it was a little different than usual, and I share Tracy's desire that next year we're going to have a regular annual meeting because that's one of the one of the great things about Yosemite Farm Credit, in my opinion. So thank you very much for participating, and we'll see you next year. Good night.